Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sunday. I am so glad that you are joining me on this Sunday before Thanksgiving. I haven't been feeling very well, so I came on down to the beach so I didn't spread my germs around to my friends and family. I hope that you remember to keep those paws washed, keep those coughs in your elbow, so that you'll stay nice and healthy for all the exciting holiday things that are coming. Boys and girls, last week we talked about Advent. See, I have the purple underlay out. Reminds us that we are in a time of getting ready. Purple is a time of getting ready at our church. This is a time when we're all on our way to Bethlehem, when we're figuring out the mystery that Jesus was born. Remember, when we're on our way to Bethlehem, we need somebody to show us the way. Last week, we talked about the prophets, in particular, the prophet Isaiah. He was somebody who listened to God, and he spoke the word of God. The prophet Isaiah said that one day a Messiah would be born, and he would be like a light shining in the darkness. And those who dwelt in deep darkness, the light would shine on them. Isaiah will show us the way to Bethlehem, but who else will show us the way? This is the card of Mary and Joseph, the Holy Family. One day, an angel of the Lord appeared to Mary and Joseph and said, Do not be afraid. Be joyful, for you will have God's special son. The Messiah will be born to you in the city of Bethlehem, and you will name him Jesus. So Mary and Joseph, oh, put them together, and the little donkey are on their way to Bethlehem. Let's light the candles. First, we'll light the candle of the prophet. Oops. The prophet Isaiah, who said that the Messiah would be like a light shining in the darkness. And now we'll light the light of the Holy Family. Do not be afraid. Be joyful, for you will have God's special son. Boys and girls, notice we have a few more spots left. That means we have a few more visitors to meet on our way to Bethlehem. Let's enjoy the light of the prophet and the light of the Holy Family. Now we can change the light. The light of the prophet and the light of the Holy Family so they can be with us in all places all throughout the year. I can't wait to see who's coming next. Think about the Christmas story. Think about the nativity and think about all of the folks and maybe animals who were there. See if you can kind of guess who might be coming next week and the week after. It's pretty exciting to be in this time of Advent at our church while we're getting ready for the mystery that Jesus the Messiah will be born. Boys and girls, let's pray together before we go. Dear God, thank you for this special day, for the people that I love. Help me be a friend to all and guide me from above. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. I'm very thankful for each and every one of you.